Good morning, Maloney High School. Today is Friday, May 14th. I'm Terrence Brown. Today's lunch is Cheesy Mozzarella Sticks. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There is a mandatory informational session next Monday, May 17th at 7 p.m. via Google Meet for all those interested in trying out in fall cheer. Please fill out the interest form in order to receive the meeting link. The class of 2023 invites you to a pizza fundraiser on May 18th. Please join us at Wise Guys Pizza at 994 West Main Street from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. 10% of everyone's bill will go directly to the class of 2023. FBLA is hosting a walkathon. Our members are raising money for the annual March of Dimes Walk for Babies. Please donate to any FBLA member or use the QR code to contribute to this great cause. And now for sports. We would like to congratulate Coach Oresco for winning his 300th game last night with the Maloney softball team. Melitia Perez tossed a one-hitter in a 14-0 shutout of Plainville for Oresco's 300th win. Now in his 20th season, Oresco has a history of sustaining success. If you do the quick arithmetic, 300 wins over 20 seasons averages to 15 wins a year. After giving up a single and a walk in the first inning, the senior right-hander did not allow another base runner until one reached on an error in the fourth inning. That runner was quickly gunned down trying to steal second to end the inning. Press took out nine batters in seven innings. Perez and Maddie LaVille carried the load with their bats too. LaVille coming off a 4-4 game on Monday went 3-3 three for three from the leadoff spot against Plainville with two doubles, a single, a walk, and an intentional base on balls. She scored four times and drove in one run. Perez out of the two spot batted 4-5 for five with three singles and a triple. She scored once and collected three RBIs. The Maloney baseball team put away Plainville 9-5 Wednesday with six runs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Evan Avery struck the big blow with a bases loaded triple that put Maloney ahead to stay. Following a sharp single back up the middle by Evan Cordero, freshman Rafi Rodriguez added the exclamation point with an RBI triple. Hartenstein finished 2-4, for four. Cordero was 2-3, for three. John Voomback picked up the pitching win. He worked into the seventh inning, scattering six hits, walking two, and striking out four. Maloney is now 10-4 and four on the season. The Spartan Lady Tennis team now stands at 9-4 and four overall and 4-0 and in the CCC South, following divisional win at home over the Blue Dragons from Middletown. Samantha Perugio, Lily Marcus, Jillian Shapiro, and Brianna Skeen all had wins. A Maloney boys volleyball beat Bullkit Tech by a score of 3-1 to one yesterday. Devin Wan was all over the floor. He, the senior, piled up 28 kills and 20 digs, with Christopher Lima dishing 45 assists and putting down 7 kills to boot. Other players had a big hand in the attack as well. Anel Torres and Samuel Torres both had 14 kills. Anel added 8 aces while Samuel got to 10 digs. O'Neal Carrion matched Vaughn with 20 digs, while Dev Patel kicked in 14 digs, 8 kills, and 5 aces. Maloney lacrosse team will be playing against Rocky Hill School away at their school's stadium tonight. They will also be playing against Nanawag at Maloney's home turf field on Monday, May 17th. Come support the team. And now for today's joke. What do ducks carry their school books in? Quack packs. Yo, this school's dumb. <laughs> Signing off, I'm Terrence Brown. Thank you for watching Spartan News. Have an amazing and exciting Friday, Maloney.